What's going on to YouTube? Episode 5. I just finished looking at episode 5 of Stranger Things Season 3, and it was, it's, it just keeps building. The thing I'll say about this episode that I appreciate, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, okay, the next two episodes are going to be just like Lucas, like Lucas in, I think it's episode 2 when they were going out. I set up the antenna or whatever like that's what he was wearing so I was like yeah I got one of these I was like this is perfect timing to do it anyway um I think one of the things about this episode that I really appreciated was the fact that um normally like it takes around like the last second to the last episode before everything goes full circle everybody reconnects in this episode alone they were able to reconnect everything and like Everything is cycling around each other, and at the same time, they are bringing horror elements out of nowhere. Like the transition between when uh, Nancy and Jonathan go up the elevator and just talking, it's like all simple and sensible. I was halfway thinking, yeah, the the big lady is gonna maybe attack them, or maybe she's gonna be gone. Then they're gonna have to go downstairs get the group to help. They legit were upstairs running and trying to survive for their bare lives and it was amazing horror like it, it was so good because the practical effects and the usage of camera work and just the feeling of dread and then even like some of the physicality things that they had to kind of do it was, it was and it's not even over yet that's the thing the scene isn't even over with yet and it's crazy because like both of them kind of had like this really moment where it's kind of like all right, I'm piecing together what happened, like when they went to Tom and them's house and then brought the group together, and then the same time the group's working together. The other thing I'll say was Steve, uh, Dustin, um, Steve's co worker, and of course, um, Lucas's sister. I actually like that story arc as well. Like, it's it's its own arc, it's all connected because it's funny because the hop story arc is just is fun. Um, I guess that's a good way of putting it. It's serious, but it's fun at the same exact time because they are legit getting chased down by the Terminator. Like, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger incarnate. Like, matter of fact, because this takes place in 1984, not 85, like, I was like, did they, did somebody see this and was like, yeah, this seems like a movie. And so James Cameron made 1985 with the Terminator. Because, I mean, honestly, the, the way that he's tracking, like, he has everything except for the shades. And it's crazy. Somebody said that Arnold Schwarzenegger was actually supposed to be uh, up for this role and he just kind of denied it and I'm like yo it doesn't matter to me like this dude's actually legit like he, he's got it like he's got it he's got it but um that again that's really fun because you get to see um Joyce and Hopper really interact uh because she's been so much kind of pushing him away and he's been so much like trying to deal with L that they haven't really had time to really even spend time together to see how they click together, like how they really work together. And it'd be interesting because Joyce needs something to do, man. Like Joyce is is not just a clerk at a, at a at a store. Like she should end up being like a deputy too. Like for real, for real. Like I mean, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what they end up doing. Like I could easily see them kind of like a Mulder and a Scully working together and doing their own thing. But again, this is a great episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Please make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you go to the description bar below, check out our Patreon. It's only $1. You can always cancel it, but $1 allows you to be able to see all the episode reactions of everything we've done before this and all the season uh, three episodes uh, uncut, unfiltered, and four reactions, okay? Um, please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell button, keep it live. JBS, we're gonna stop. Peace, guys.